guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today is Saturday and you know exactly what is happening on Saturdays on my channel. It's a review day. I am reviewing two products today from Kete Shut. I already worked with this company before multiple times. So far so good. I like their products. The quality is great, great ideas, great execution of those products. And yeah, you guys, I cannot wait to see what's this balloon garland and other products is going to look like together. Everything will be linked and listed in the description under the video. And without any further ado, let's go. Here is what I'm planning to review today, you guys. Let's start with this kit. This kit includes 90 dark blue, light blue, white and gold balloons. It will cost you $19.99 on Amazon. These boxes over here, I am extremely excited about them because I've been seeing these boxes everywhere lately, literally. They will cost you $17.99. There's four boxes in total with some letters that you can spell out baby. And you can also stuff these boxes with anything you want. Let's open our kit up and see what we have inside. First, we have this paper with instructions to help you out with construction of your balloon garland, glue dots, balloon tying tool. I have lots of these. I received a comment asking if I have thousands of these. I, not thousands, but I do have a lot of these. I open up a drawer and it's literally flooded with these balloon tying tools. So this is very, very handy. I am so happy when companies do include these balloon tying tools in their kits. Balloon strip to construct our balloon garland and some bags with balloons. I am ready to blow all of my balloons. I am using electric balloon pump from Laura Dale Paper and Balloon Company. I also have this hand pump because I am planning to blow my foiled balloons with it. There is a reason for it. I will tell you about that a little bit later. So I am using balloon strip. That means I need to blow my balloons individually and tie my balloons individually using this balloon tying tool. So let's do this. Blow your balloon up. As soon as you're done blowing your balloon, press your balloon against the floor to give your balloon a more rounder shape and then tie it and you're good to go. I will be blowing my foiled balloons with a hand pump and here is why. All of the foiled balloons, self-sealing balloons, orbs balloons, they do have this insert and then this plasticky insert. If you'll be using your warm electric balloon pump to blow your balloons, you have a chance that you can mount that plastic insert and your balloons will be basically ruined because they will start losing air little by little. So hand pump it is. to construct our balloon garland so I am taking my first balloon and inserting it right into my balloon strip this strip has only one hole so make sure when you're inserting your balloon your knot is completely through the hole let it go and that's all you need to do to construct your balloon garland I am not alternating sides I am inserting every balloon on one side personally I don't see a difference if you use just just one side or alternate sides. If you see your balloons are starting to pop out out of your strip, that means you need to skip a hole. 
I will be building this balloon garland color by color so I'm starting with white I am including my 5 inch balloons into my base I'm leaving my 18 inch balloons aside to kind of fill in spaces with them a little bit later then I will be working with light blue and darker blue these gold balloons will be set aside as well I will work with them a little bit later so let's go my balloon garland is on my backdrop on my frame this was literally a last second decision to add this frame into this video i like how simple this balloon garland looks nothing over the top or crazy looking very simple very calm looking balloon garland if you know what i mean now i will be taking my glue dots that were included in the kit and i will start filling in spaces with my 18 inch balloons and five inch balloons in gold color so let's go how I attached my foiled balloons to my fabric I took a pin with the pearl on top pierced it through or went through those ears that these balloons have on the side and pinned my pin to the fabric so there's one pin there's another pin on this side on top right here so this is a boy, two pins, and for it, I used three pins. One pin over here, here, and over there. So I'm gonna try to show you how I assembled my two boxes because I did them off camera. And uh, I think I folded both boxes different ways. So I don't know which way I'm gonna show you right now. So you basically unfold your box. This box is in one piece. This is the bottom. The bottom has these four floppy pieces of cardboard to make the bottom of your box. I am taking this part over here and the side portion, and I'm kind of doing this. I'm holding it on to this side, pulling out this portion over here, this part, and putting it we're laying it right on top of this part, so right there. I don't know, probably I'm not explaining this right, but hey, this is how I did it, right? And taking our last piece and putting it right in the middle, kind of securing everything in place. I mean, something like this. And our top or the side of our box so you kind of uh, take these thinnies upwards a little bit maybe make a little bit of a crease on the side because this portion is kind of like too rounded and then take your box and probably make a crease here and then close your box and your box is ready for use. I mean, something like this, I don't know. So <laughs> it's funny because I probably didn't really explain. Take this, take that, take it here, take it there. I hope that makes sense. So let's make our fourth one. for our letters you just peel off a paper in the back of your letters and you just stick them on your boxes
here is what I have for you guys today. This is my take on this balloon garland kit and boxes from Kitty Shot. Thank you so much for sending me goodies to review and make this setup over here. You guys, I really enjoyed working with these balloons. Good quality balloons, nothing pop deflated or had holes. I had more than enough glue dots to fill in spaces. I like this balloon garland. It's very unusual, something different from what I usually do. I usually use 12 inch balloons in my base, but I used five inch balloons in this balloon garland and I really do like it. Nothing crazy, but definitely a show stopping piece. Love it. You saw me how I attached the, and these it's a boy balloons, just the pin with pearls on top and straight to my fabric. Good quality boxes. I really, really like them. I had my eye on them for so long and Katisha sent them to me to review. So I am happy with how everything it turned out i like that the boxes had this adhesive in the back of them so you just stick them on your boxes and boxes are good to go i attached my balloon garland with extra fishing line and i just tied my garland with the fishing line straight to my frame i will link everything and list everything in the description under the video and a few pictures or a couple of pictures will be at the end of this video as well. This is it you guys, this is what I have for you today. I hope this video was a fun, was helpful and was inspiring to watch. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to help you out to the best of my abilities. If you're new here, you guys, just hit the subscribe button for more videos. And I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you back very soon. Bye.